Be all right, all right? Everybody's okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Yes, my tooth is still missing here. I am working on getting that done today, actually. So I'm going to be leaving the campground today and going to be going to the dentist in Tacoma uh, to get that done. Uh, but first, there's something really big I want to share with you guys. Some of you may have already heard from other people on YouTube. Uh, Mike and James and I are doing Knife Lake Camper Meet, officially. This is going to be an open invitation to anybody who wants to come over and camp with us on Knife Lake. Um, it's a free camping up to seven days. We are scheduling this for August 15th to the 21st. And we are hopefully going to get anybody who's down there wants to come down in an RV or if you have a trailer, even a van, and you want to do like some tent camping or yeah, just any any kind of vehicle you can think of. Anyone is welcome. This is just a public thing that we want to have like for other people there. So if you can make it, you should go on over to uh, my Facebook. I'll put a link below on the Facebook. Uh, if you want to know if you're attending, so click going or interested or if you can't make it. I understand that some people are going to be on the other side of the country and not able to come along, but at least want to throw out that offer in case you have a chance to swing on by. Again, it's going to be, and, and GPS coordinates are also in the video description below, so you can, guys can find exactly where we're going to be parked. So, let me pack up all my stuff here. <laughs> and then, uh, we head down the road. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, you just saw the making of an announcement that's going to be playing out on Eric's video. And it was supposed to be a little bit of a joke along with the announcement that Mike Eric and I, we're all going to be doing a camper meetup over at Rife Lake on August 15th through August 21st. And we want you all to come out and enjoy some camping with us. And we look forward to meeting you all. Uh, we just wanted to share the great time that we're having with you. I'm gonna go ahead and put the GPS location right across here. It's gonna scroll at the bottom of this clip. I'll talk to you later. Your dad's okay? Where's your dad? Yeah. Oh, this is you. This is you? Yeah. Okay, this is your car ride? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just look it at looks the front like my dad's bike drive it. Okay. You got someone that you're calling then? Did you call your dad? Huh? No, I just called. Okay, so you're the only part, person part of this car ride that yeah. you're showing. Okay. God, yeah, it did. It sounded terrible. Well, and there's also fuel leaking, so be careful. Yeah. Can you pull out of the car? I can smell I it. Pull those out. Okay, so there's fuel leaking. The windshield yeah, cracked. Yeah, the windshield cracked. Yeah. Guess it doesn't matter. Right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> And you, your neck's not hurting, everything's okay? Do you, do you know how to turn your flashers on? You really should have the flashers on it. Slow down. My flashlight's the only one that's giving them more. <laughs> So nice guys, we got a nice sunny day today here in the rainforest. It rained all day yesterday, but today 
the skies are bright blue there's not even a single cloud I don't know how that common it is here I can't remember ever being in the rainforest and having not a single cloud so it's something really special I'm gonna go for a little hike back down to the actual river and uh, check it out it's looks really really clear so it should be pretty nice there's a trail that leads off past the boat ramp down here from what I understand all right right down here on the river now it's beautiful little sandy spot Now that's a clear, ooh, that's still cold. The water's so beautiful. I absolutely love this. I wish the water was a little warmer though. Well, everybody, Mike and I, we're here to just about roll out of this beautiful campground off to Ruby Beach before we head north to get supplies. Woo! Are you going to miss the spot, brother? Uh, not really, but yeah, kind of a little bit. <clears throat> it's yep. nice. It's a really cool spot. Definitely recommend it. The water's like Kool-Aid. <laughs> Blue Kool-Aid. I'm I'm loving it. But I spent six days here. I'm ready to rock. Let's get her going. Yeah. I only spent like three days. He came before me. So we're, we're hopping in the rigs right now. Mike's already warming his up and uh we'll check in with you over in Ruby Beach. Rolling over in here into Ruby Beach. Looks like they got a lot of road work going on. <laughs> oh man, Mike is gonna love this. <laughs> I came over to Ruby Beach and of course it's fogged in. <laughs> What's that? I already blamed it on you in my video. You already blamed the fog on me? Yeah, I said, oh, I wish I went to came with James. Now it's foggy. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I did when I pulled in and I saw it was foggy is I'm like, well, you might, I'm going to hear about that from Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Wow, I think there's enough driftwood. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Some pretty cool formations there. I wish it wasn't so foggy though. Yeah. Too cold. Woo. Here we come along Forks, the little town of Forks, Washington. So this is where Twilight was filmed, the uh, movie Twilight, and uh, we're gonna stop off at this little restaurant here that was a filming location and grab a bite to eat before we head out of town. All right, got the bellies full, and it's on the road again. on down here into a low level spot and we're coming up on Crescent Lake which is backed up right to that mountain over there in front of us. I'm hoping to be able to get a little bit of views of it. I don't know if we'll be able to once we get down this hill. Yes we can. This beautiful lake. Lake 
Crescent or Crescent Lake, I should say. It's a really pretty lake. I love it when the lakes are backed up by mountains. It's so beautiful. Take a pontoon boat out there and just hang out all day. Even little Port Angeles has lots of traffic. <laughs> Looks like we're on the main strip now here, going through the town. I want to get a chance to go out by the Puget Sound from here. There's some, should be a park or something, I imagine. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, it's guys. Been a long day. Without you, my friend And I tell you all about it When I see you again We come a long way From where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it